Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to hide the last logged in user in Windows. So this is assuming you have more than one user account, of course. So normally if you log off, you'll see the last logged in user even if you reboot. You log back in. Just like that. So if you have multiple users, so this has three users on this computer here. So we're going to show you a couple ways. So if you're using the professional version of Windows, you could use the uh, local security policy editor here. From there, you want to go to local policies, security options. Then you want interactive login. Don't display last signed in. Should be not defined by default there. So if you go to the explain tab, you'll see if the policy is enabled, the username will not be shown. So we're going to enable it. Okay, so let's sign off here. All right, so now you can see it just gives you a username and password, doesn't even show the other users. So you gotta know your username here. So you could use your Microsoft account password if it's a Microsoft account, or if you go to sign in options, you could click on this and use your PIN if you don't wanna use your Microsoft account password. Okay, so let me disable that. Okay, so if you are on the home edition, uh, you could use these methods. And by the way, there is a way to enable the local security policy editor on Windows Home Edition. So we might do a video for that. So if you see it in the description, then you'll be able to check that out. But if not, uh, this is just as easy here. So there's a hide last signed in users and show last signed in users registry entry here. So I'm going to open this with notepad so you can see what it does here. Okay, so you can see it's just adding this value to this D word value here. Don't display last username right here. And then we have this one here. And you can see that just removes it. All right, so we're going to try the hide one here. Okay, so we'll log off again. And I can see we're back here at the uh, password prompt. Like that, okay, let's say we wanna get rid of it now. So it shows the last logged in user. We could just double click this one here. And then we'll try it again. And you can see everything's back to normal. All right, so it's that simple. So I will put a link in the description where you could download the two registry files here and then, like I said, if you are on a pro version, you could just use the local security policy editor. And then also, like I said as well, uh, if there's a video link for how to enable the local security policy editor in the description in the future, you could try that out as well. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.